Democrats assume that's going to happen. We've already made the call in Idaho and Oregon. So we've assigned the races the way we think we're going to go. On this map, we still have Virginia Blue. Let's watch as that one plays out. But let's leave it there for now and assume our horror pulls it out later in the <laughs> it end. It doesn't and like the Republicans. Give up the races that we think are all but certain to go one way or another. <laughs> Here's where you have it. 47 Republicans, 45 Democrats. So the question is, how do Democrats beat their majority? Well, at the moment, we haven't called this race. Right? Doesn't like she John King either. Let's assume she holds that narrow lead for the same. Oh, he doesn't like Maine. Right? So then we move on. We're going to be counting these votes all day tomorrow. But Republicans think they're going to win in Alaska. If that happens, and again, it's a hypothetical. We'll watch and we'll count the votes. We promise you. If that happens, there it gets you up to 48, 46. Now. Right now in Kansas, Pat Roberts is inched ahead. Let's assume this one holds right here. And Wolf will come back to this in just a second. We understand you've got a projection. I have a major projection right now. Dean Shaheen will be re-elected. The United States Senator from the state of New Hampshire defeating Scott Brown, the Republican, the former senator from Massachusetts. Another big win for the oh, okay. Democrats. Okay, he's happy. He desperately needed to be. He wasn't hitting her. New Hampshire, if they have he's any happy the Democrat the one. The majority in the United States. Senate, so Gene Chaheen, we project, will be the winner. Uh, let's go back to John King uh, to take a little analysis of what happened in New Hampshire. Gene Chaheen, uh, the Democrats desperately needed this win. They are going to get this win in New Hampshire. Familiarity from her days as governor was up there just a couple days ago driving around the state. She had bumper stickers on Jeannie, vote for Jeannie. Not Governor Shaheen, not Senator Shaheen. That was her way around. But all people can see there's an Obama drag in the state right now. Uh, Scott Brown ran a competitive race, did a lot of retail politicking, for which he was known for in Massachusetts. <laughs> but coming up just short of that state. The margin, though, tells you something, because Gene Shaheen is such a popular figure. So now we've given that one to the Blues, right? Under this scenario, and again, we're going getting ahead of ourselves a little bit, signing Montana, giving this one to Republicans for the sake of argument. Let's get the Republicans to 49, 46. Here's the challenge for the Democrats. They have to win a whole lot of places that are very, very tough. Their best hope would be Iowa, right? President Obama carried Ooh. that state twice, except... I just one hit the Republican the Republicans. there. Most Republicans think that one's going into their call. If the Republicans pick up Iowa as we move west, that would get them to 50. Well, that would get them to 50. And then you get out to Colorado. <laughs> in this race, Cory Gardner led in the late polls. The Democrats Any said, projections, well, Flynn? Huh? Any projections? 